Okay, so how to create clouds with just one single node in Blender. So the technique I'm about to show you here is super easy stuff. It's also non-destructive and since we're barely going to use any geometry at all, it's also really render friendly. At the end, I'll also show you how you can animate it just like this in this speed. So yeah let's get into it okay so let's just go a x and delete and the first thing we're going to do is change our environment so go over to the render properties we are going to use ev so turn on ambient bloom and screen from there we are going to go to world and we're going to click on this tiny little yellow dot here and change this to the sky texture so now we can set the strength at the sky texture to 0 0.2. And if we go up to the right here and into this render mode, we now have this nice looking 3D environment for our cloud. So let's just go shift A and we're gonna bring in a plane and we're gonna scale this plane up 10 times. And this here is gonna be the size of our clouds. So let's just bring up the timeline a little bit, change the timeline into the shader editor. And here we're going to click on new. And the really cool thing here is that we only going to need one main node. So um, you can go shift A and we can bring in a Musgrave texture node. And we can also uh, click on the Musgrave texture node. And we also need a node wrangle. So go control t and if you don't have this uh, add-on here just go edit preferences add-ons type in node wrangler and check this box and also check this box for autosave so now if we connect the height here into the alpha because we want the these clouds to be transparent we're going to get this uh, zebra looking thing so if you're using cycles um, that is completely fine and then you don't need to do the step that we are going to do now so but if you're using EV you're gonna need to go to material properties here and go down to settings and change this blend mode from opaque to alpha blend so now we have something that starts to look a little bit more like clouds so let's uh, zoom in here at the Musgrave texture here and just bring the detail all the way up and the main thing to be aware of here is this uh, dimension level here this is uh, what going to determine the the realism of these uh, clouds here so if we bring this down you can see if we bring it all the way down it pretty much just creates a rock but if you find like a nice sweet spot somewhere around this level here from 0 0.7 to 0 0.9 it's going to start looking like some clouds so um, the next thing here if you want to change the color on these clouds you can just do that picking a color here and um, the next step here is that we obviously want to make them move so to do that we're going to use this mapping node here and we're going to move it these clouds on this uh, x location here but you also want these clouds here to be acting similar to real clouds and to do that we're going to use this c value here to create this effect so and putting together this um, X here and this C, we're gonna have a pretty cool and quite realistic uh, cloud effect. So let's get into that. And um, the way we're gonna animate this mapping node is just by using a simple driver. So we can just go hash frame divided by 2000. And the reason I'm using this bigger number is because uh, I want my clouds to move slowly. So if you're using a lower number, they will move faster. 
and just press enter and we're also going to do the C. So go hash frame divided by 2001. And now if I hit the space bar, you can see that we have some really cool looking moving clouds. And if you go from underneath here, it looks uh, more realistic. And from here, we can also just play around with the scale. And a good thing when you play around with uh, this uh, node setup here is that uh, you can hold down shift. That will give you more control. So um, here, you can just determine the size of um, the clouds that you want to create. If you want bigger clouds like this, and um, at the end here, I also want to show you that uh, since we are using a sky texture, this sky texture here will influence this um, uh, cloud material that we are using. So here you can also just play around with uh, the different values and you will get a slightly different outcome. So this is the way you can create some really cool looking clouds here in uh, Blender. Uh, if you learn something, please consider to subscribe. Have a great day wherever you are and peace out.